Just thought I'd uh, give a quick showing of my humble cast iron skillet and pot collection. Over here is a group of nine six inch skillets which I have uh, accumulated over the years and uh, I use these for cornbread and uh, quick breads and bacon powder breads and things like that there's nine of them. Back here is a griddle and this is one of my favorite pieces here it's not an antique it actually is made by Wagner I believe these things are heavy it's hard to do this with one hand but as you can see it's a Wagner and uh, looking looking at the embossing you can tell that it's fairly modern it's only a few years old I would think I bought it used and this piece here is very hard to find intact it is a fairly nondescript item but it still is, is quite uncommon I wouldn't say rare but still quite uncommon it's a uh, it's a biscuit pan or a muffin pan I would think that looking at it and looking at the edges of the molding the way they molded it it is fairly old at least the 40s This is another, oh no, not. I was going to say it was a Wagner, but no, it's a Lodge uh, company that's still, still in business. Uh, pretty modern, but it's my largest skillet. Let's set this over there. Over here is a Dutch oven without a top. I do have a top, but I don't think it fits. You see, the, the bale won't let it fit. You see, it doesn't fit. Over here, it's another fairly modern piece. It also is a Wagner. But it's kind of unique. I don't see many of these around. I've seen them on the internet for sale. They're not very common. At least not in the, in the east here. It's a, uh, a griddle pan. And you can fry steak and, and chicken on here. Fish too, probably. And it'll come out with those crosshatch burn marks that restaurants do. another Dutch oven. This one doesn't have a bale, but I picked it up anyway because it does have a fairly large capacity. It came with a glass top. And I'm sorry, this 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 top came with another one. This this top came with this chicken fry. This is one of, also one of my favorite ones. It's an O'Brien. Not very common, but I got it for a real good price. I think I paid ten dollars for this. It's about a ten inch chicken fryer. And this top came with that. It's not the original, but it works. And here, along with its top, I have a saucepan old-fashioned style but it is made in Taiwan by classic 
pretty common. But it does the trick. And it comes with a top. This one is a little bit more uh, uncommon because it does have a wooden handle. And this is also made in Taiwan. I think this also could be a classic. It says Taiwan three quart saucepan. That's what it says. You might not be able to read it, but that's a pretty neat one. I actually got ripped off on this one. It was advertised on eBay as an old pan, and I had a, a real squabble with the lady who sold it to me, and she never she never made good. Here's a a Wagner pot, but it is an old one. This is probably from the 40s or 50s. So that's that's what I have available to show you. I also have over here. Let's see if I can reach it. I have a pot which is in the process of being conditioned. It was a bloody mess this thing it took me all afternoon to cook the crud off of that one I finally got it to the where I can scrub it and another one and if you remember the pot that I get uh, that I showed you that was so covered with all that crud Turned out to be a genuine Wagner. I found it. I found that under a bunch of stuff in a junk shop. I don't think I paid a couple of bucks for it, three, four dollars. After I got all the stuff off it, turned out to be a really a genuine Wagner. You can't touch these for twenty bucks. If somebody sells you one of these for twenty dollars or for ten bucks, or even fifteen dollars. They don't know what they're doing. But anyway, that's it. Hope you have a good night. Take care.